this video lesson today we are going to solve a very difficult question type in IELTS reading which is yes no not given in this question type you have to match the information given in the question with that in the passage if the same information is given in the passage the answer is yes if the opposite information is given the answer is no and if you can't get the information then it is not given there is another question type true false not given the strategy is more or less similar but the only difference is yes no not given is based on opinion and true false not given is for fact or truth now in this we'll see few questions if you see the first question this is about a passage and a person is uh, trying to go to Australia if you try to bring things which are forbidden into Australia you may be taken to court so this is this information is given in the passage now the words that we need to observe is forbidden forbidden is something that is not allowed taken to court means right he'll be tried in court he, ha he has to face a trial if you look for the information in the passage if you come to Australia and conceal items of quarantine concern you may receive an on-the-spot fine or you could be prosecuted. If you carefully look at the vocabulary that is there in the passage, conceal items of quarantine concern, which means to hide, right? not to show. So which is similar in meaning to forbidden or prohibited. And then in the last uh, sentence, it is given prosecuted. Prosecuted is same as a person is being taken to court. So the question in the passage has the same meaning the answer is yes. You can see these are the words that we have to be careful about. Let us take another question. Now this question says, under certain circumstances, vaccinations are obligatory for entry to Australia. Now obligatory means compulsory. That means sometimes uh, vaccinations become compulsory when a person enters Australia. Now if you see the passage, the information that is given is no vaccinations are required unless some time has been spent in an infected country in the previous two weeks. Now, if you see the first part of the sentence, it says no vaccinations are required, but then there is a conditional unless. And it says that if a person has spent time in an infected country, right, if you know there has been an outbreak of a disease or an epidemic in that country, and he has been there in that country for two weeks and then, then trying to enter Australia, then he has to get his vaccination done. So which means the information given in the question and the passage are same and the answer would be yes. The next question says only people with Australian nationality receive free medical treatment in Australia. If you try to understand the question that this free medical treatment or the service is available only for Australian citizens. If we look at the passage, the first line says that Australia offers free service at public hospitals. If you read on, the last sentence says that these services extend to citizens of United Kingdom and New Zealand. So if you read the passage carefully, it says that Medical service, free medical service is available not only for Australian nationals, but also for people from United Kingdom and New Zealand. Now this information in the passage is exactly opposite because in the question it is given only. So the answer is no. We got the opposite information from the passage. The next question says, if you are trapped in bushfire while driving, you should abandon your car. Most of these questions would have slightly unfamiliar vocabulary. Now, when it says we have to find out that the person is driving a car and he might be caught in bushfire and he has to abandon his car. Now, abandon is to get out of the car and run away from that place. The passage says that if caught in a fire, which is quite similar in the meaning trapped in a bushfire, head for a clearing. If in a car, get off the road, stay in the vehicle. So the passage says that a person should not abandon his car. He should not go out of his car, but stay in the vehicle, get under the dashboard and wear a 
woolen blanket. So the information that is given is exactly opposite. The question says that you have to leave the car. The passage says stay in the vehicle, which is opposite. So the answer is no. The next question is about leech bites. Whenever a person goes you know, for a bush walking, he would encounter such kind of situations. Leech bites can cause dangerous infections. The passage says ticks and leeches are common, so check your body thoroughly after bushwalking. Ticks can be dangerous. Now if you see, the word dangerous is common in the question as well as in the passage. But the question says dangerous infections, this information about infections is not given in the passage. If you try to answer this question in a hurry, one might take it to be yes, but in fact it is not given since nothing is mentioned about infections. The next question is, sea swimming is completely safe in protected areas. The information from the passage, do not swim in unprotected waters and later on it talks about sharks, crocodiles, stingers and all but it does not say anything about protected areas which means the answer is a straightforward not given. Coming to the last question, if you meet a road train on a narrow road, leave the road. Now this road train is very common in Australia. Uh, it is a very long truck and it says if it comes from the other side, right, the person should leave the road. From the passage we get the information that if you come across a road train carrying cattle, you have to head off the road. Off the road means leave the road. The same information is given. So our answer is yes. So we can see that if you have to critically analyze the question and the passage, if the same information is there in the passage and the question, the answer is yes. The opposite means no. And then it is not given if the information is not there at all. Now, through this simple exercise, we came, uh, come to know how to solve this question type. If you practice a lot, you can really uh, ace this uh, question type. This could really be very tricky because around 15 to 16 questions come in general training. That's all for the video lesson today. Thank you all. To watch more such videos, subscribe to CareerLine YouTube channel. Happy learning.